What is up, YouTube? It's DZ Twix again. Today, I've got a match of one in the chamber. Uh, I was just messing around in wager matches, and I thought this was a pretty good gameplay to put up. So, here we are. Well, I'm going to tell you now. In this video, I really didn't care if I won or lost. I was just coming in to have fun. And most of the time in Call of Duty, when you just come in to have fun, you usually can't do that well. Um, but in this, I feel I did pretty pretty well for just what I was trying to do. I'd also like to know, I was just letting the bullets fly. I really didn't care if I hit or miss. I was just going to see how far I could shoot someone at. And I'd like to give some words of advice to everyone now. Um, maybe you can notice here, I play on 10 sensitivity. I feel that really helps my game out, helps my reaction time. But like I was saying, um, I shot that guy in front of me. Steps behind me, turned around in time to get the shot off, and that guy was coming to knife me. Now, let's say I got I was playing on about six sensitivity. Um, I'd probably be able to turn around in time to look at the guy, but I don't think I'd turn around in time to get the shot off before he knifed me. Now, I'm not necessarily saying go and play on 10 sensitivity, I'm saying play on the highest comfortable sensitivity that you can play on. After that, slowly work your way up until you get to 10. At 10, it feels like you're maneuvering faster, you're aiming faster, you're shooting faster. It even feels like you're running faster. Playing at 10 sensitivity is one of the easiest ways to help your game up. So hit the flip and start menu, go in, switch to your options, switch that sensitivity. Now right here, I'm just creeping around the back side. Um, I saw these bullets, heard some noise over here. So I'm going to walk over, check it out. And this is exactly why you should play on 10. I move as fast as I can, get this shot, come in here, see the guy, turn, get a knife. That's exactly the reason that you should play on the highest sensitivity possible. Now let's see what we can do now. When it's you and one other guy left in one in the chamber, I would say camp it out. Let the other guy come into your area, because you have a plan, you know what you're going to do and then take him out. I would not advise moving at the other guy because he knows when you're coming, the radar's on. Just camp it out and see what happens. Especially when you're up on score, you have all the power. Make that guy, he has to come to you or time's gonna run out and he's gonna lose. Just camp it out and see what happens. And right there, I unloaded on that guy. <laughs> I even shot my next bullet and I didn't notice that I did that. Um, so now I'm gonna have to try to lure this guy in, see if I can get close enough to him to get a knife. Also, another thing you can try to do, try to get the guy to waste his bullet, because then this is gonna be a knife battle. Right here, I could see he was in the house. So what I was trying to do, I was gonna wait till he came out, run around the corner, get a quick knife without him knowing. But I do get dropped. Now, I respawn in a pretty good place. This is somewhere I want to be. Straight on shot. Let's see who's better. But he wastes his bullet. So I'm just going to back up. Wait for him to come to me. And now that we're at the end, as always, remember to hit that subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up. It really helps it out. And Big Vid Gaming, we'll catch you next time. Have a nice day.